Okay guys, thanks so much for coming back. I'm going to get a, a fortune for you as we go along. That can help us clarify the situation. Adversity reveals genius. Prosperity conceals it. This is super important. Life is difficult, but comfort is an enemy to growth, what it actually takes. And it can be really scary and it can put us on really unsure ground. But like I said in the first part of the reading, where you're going can be a little unsure, even though it's for our growth, but it will guide us if it's built upon a foundation of us genuinely being ourselves and a strong version of ourselves at that. So let me get a little bit about a person you could be dealing with. For some reason that came out, I'm gonna ignore it for now. A person you could be dealing with. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. This is about knowing where you're going and understanding that even though things can seem unsure, you're on the right path and to keep pressing forward with the Four of Pentacles and the Sun card. This could be somebody that you see in that energy. This could be the perfect type of person for you. If you haven't met your soulmate yet the person to look out for is somebody who's um, who's grounded and enlightened at the same time they're not confused this person might not be the richest person but they're saving and making wise choices with their material life and this person is on a straight path forward. Five of Swords in reverse. And it's interesting the Queen of Swords was here in reverse. This person could... I feel like this is sort of a connecting factor between you and your person. So this person can be a really grounded guiding light for you. And for them you'll know it because you will help them with some swords energy or air energy or decision making is another way to also talk about swords energy this person could benefit from perhaps some of your ability to speak reason into them when they don't have it And I feel like this is your energy. This person can be a guiding light for you when you're going through hard times and you're not sure of which way to go to get to a completion. So this so far is telling me that in order to identify your soulmate or the person that will be right for you if it's a person you're dealing with or not will be the way that you support each other and appreciate qualities in each other when adapting to your own life the three of wands it's about finding a pathway forward once you've decided on a direction i feel like a big calling card to a healthy relationship is being on the same page about where you want to go not necessarily having the same direction, but making compromises and understanding the other person's direction. It's a huge calling card for a successful relationship, even if it's not romantic. Understanding each other is really something that's, um, I think a dime a dozen is the right term, or um, a diamond in the rough. It's is one in a million um, but it <clears throat> excuse me maybe not one in a million but it comes with our close friends and it's a really good foundation for 
a, an intimate relationship if that's where you're headed tell me about this person a little bit more since we've clarified our viewer the ten of pentacles this person would be a really good um, family member I I think that you'll be able to see long-term potential in this person not just because they would make a good family member but they'd make a good head of the household because they would um, allow the right energies into the home Let's see and the king of cups in reverse this person I don't think uh, they're emotionally uh, volatile they could understand emotions, but their focus is on being, um, going, uh, being intuitive or understanding the right pathway to harmony rather than being emotionally dominated. The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands in reverse. It could also mean the King of Cups with these other cards. It could also mean that they wear their emotions on their sleeve. I feel like this person wouldn't let it get the best of them. But it could be that this person um, has more of a feeling personality or perhaps they have more water in their chart and less air and maybe you have more air let me know if that's right because that's what I'm reading here is that this person because they're emotionally intuitive they could need some reasoning in their life and what's this card the star card to help to help grasp the true path forward this is really cute I think you're gonna see the best in each other and like having fun together without needing to go everywhere that's what I get with the world in reverse on top of this mutually supportive energy. I think you and this person can help each other have fun, which is also a great calling card to any type of relationship. But the cards are telling me this, and I want you to know that it's going to be really important in selecting your soulmate. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Interesting. I think it's important to be wise about oh it was the moon card and I just saw it come out again the owl I think it's it will be important for you to not to get lost in the world that you can create together because it will be really easy to do that As important as it is for you to understand each other, it's also important for you two to understand the world, the world around you. So, yeah, I don't know a better way to explain that except that I think you should be equally as focused or have times where you guys talk about the world and your direction in it rather than about each other all the time in the beginning stages of a relationship and even developing years down the line I'm talking years it's important to have communication about the about the, the people you are but also keep in mind your place in the world because the other you can you can utilize this this healthy relationship in order to better understand your own place in the world and that's equally as important it's not just about finding love but it's about knowing how 
how you can uh, survive in the world and even contribute to it. The Five of Cups. I think you'll know when you meet this person or when this side, uh, this pers the side of this person comes out and you get to interact with it. It will show you the type of things that you need to leave behind. What opportunities aren't for you? Because you'll be able to feel more in tune with who you really are and your gifts and your strengths. Which is really important. We can work on our strengths, but our gifts we, we should be grateful for and understand how to implement them in our lives without feeling like um, burdened by not being the same as other people or approaching life the same way that they are. It's something that will keep our feet um, on the, it can be something that will keep our feet on the ground but our head in the sky because we're different than other people and we've found a way to adapt. And I feel like this person or this relationship can help ground you into understanding um, how good you can be for each other. So if this resonated, please let me know. And I will see you in my next reading.